the first table tennis gold medal of the Paris Olympics has been won by China. Of course, it has the world number ones, Wang Chuqin and Sun Ying Sha, partnering up to win the mixed doubles gold. Full credit to them, definitely the best pairing in the tournament. But I think the interesting story of the mixed doubles at the Paris Olympics has to be North Korea, DPRK's run to the final and the silver medal that they won. I don't think anyone before the tournament would have predicted that North Korea would have got so far, simply because the pairing of Ri Jong Sik and Kim Kung Yong um, definitely butchered the pronunciations. Both players just simply so unknown. Neither of them have an individual world ranking with the ITTF. And beyond the qualification tournament that saw them get to Paris, Kim Kong Yong, absolutely no international experience at all as far as I can tell. And they looked so assured throughout the tournament. They defeated Japan, Sweden, Hong Kong. And then in that final, they definitely scared the Chinese pairing. They took it to six games. And in that sixth game, at 8 all, it felt like North Korea, it was all coming together. They just won an incredible point at 7-8 uh, to level the match. In the end, though, China, the experience got them through and the quality, of course, of, of those players. But an incredible run. And as always with North Korea, there's so many questions um, about how they can do this. With such little international experience, how are they training? How are they practicing? And how could they look so assured against top international players? Are they watching lots of videos of international players? Who are they practicing against? Incredible. Uh, I don't know how it's done. And obviously, with any North Korean team and North Korean players, we always wonder a lot about their lives, um, about what life is like in North Korea for them as a, a sports person, as a North Korean in general. Always questions about um, North Korea's place in international sports tournaments as well, whether success for North Korea at the Olympics, uh, allowing them to play in international tournaments somehow legitimises the re regime back in North Korea. And also a lot of questions about how much do the North Korean public know about um, the mixed doubles success? Are they watching back there or is this something they get to hear about in the news there? So many questions. Um, but uh, I really do hope both of those players realise how wonderful they've been in this tournament. Politics aside, full credit to both of those players. They've played so wonderfully throughout. Um, and to really scare China like that in the final it is so impressive. And the North Korean success doesn't end there. There is a, um, one player in the women's singles. Again, I'm going to butcher the name. That's Pyon Song Jong. Um, she defeated Nina Mittelham in the round of 32 today. Nina Mittelham did have a, a back injury, but still so impressive. I watched her in the earlier rounds. Um, she's ranked around 160 in the world, but clearly a lot better than that physically. She was very impressive. So it'd be interesting to see how she gets on in the round of 16. Anyway, the singles is back on tomorrow. Most of the big boys and girls are still in the tournament. Dang Chu did get knocked out in the round of 32, but uh, most of the others are still there. Wang Chu Chin and Fan Xian Dong still actually have their round of 32 match to complete. Uh, I can't see them having any issues though. But yeah, so intriguing. Um, definitely the most interesting story of the championships so far. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. Bring on the table tennis.